Well, hi there, folks, and welcome to Art Tips of Jean, the show that teaches you not only how to build a successful art business, but also how to create and unleash your own amazing artistic talent. I'm your host, John Morris, as always, the painter of memories, and today's show is sponsored by Outreach Art. They are the best at what they do in art courses, and you can, you can learn art from the comfort of your own home, wherever you are in the world. They're the best at what they do because they understand their students, and all they do is created by art teachers as well. I have one of them, and you can learn how to paint from Start to finish some amazing, amazing paintings. Folks, today we are doing a product review and these have been really, really successful recently so we want to continue our series on product reviews as we review Masters Paintbrushes. Now Now personally, I love Masters Paintbrushes. I was given them as a gift and uh, I, I just, I'm so, so excited to present this to you because I've got to be honest, I have worked with a wide variety of paintbrushes over the years. I have taught students with a wide variety of paintbrushes over the years. Last week, obviously, we looked at Harris brushes. Um, and for those of you that haven't seen the, the YouTube show yet, I definitely encourage you to, to click on that and to check it out. Um, but this week, we're going to be looking at more specialist brushes. So say, I've, I've used a wide variety of brushes, but when I got hold of these initially, I was like, oh, they're going to be cheap brushes, and I just put them to the side, because sometimes when you get paintbrushes as a gift, you just think, oh, you know, they're, they're going to be really cheap. You know, they, they didn't look like anything amazingly special. And then one day I was sitting down, and I was busy doing a painting, and I thought, oh, I need a, I need a bigger brush. I'm going to give these a try. And oh my goodness, the uh, quality of paint was absolutely incredible and the quality of the brush and what I was seeing was absolutely amazing. So we want to look into today a little bit on how they actually hold up so you can see for yourself. Of course we have got an affiliate link as always in the chat bar below or if you're watching this on YouTube live there will be a, uh, an affiliate link uh, very very soon that are coming so you can purchase your own master's paintbrushes as well and you can get them from outreachart.org. Um, again, just before we continue, Outreach Art is not only an amazing place for art teaching and how to build a successful art business, it's also a great place um, to find and pick up art products basically, canvases, brushes, paint and so much more pens and, and a whole plethora of things um, because it, it's, it's made by artists for artists and I understand that you know there are artists out there that are doing this on a budget oftentimes unless you're an artist that are really making it big you know you're doing this on a budget and you're looking for the best bargains that you can get and I try to make sure that we we also provide that um, so paintbrushes first of all how do they hold up well we've got a little liner brush here okay now this as you may have noticed is not a master's paintbrush but I'm going to show you how to use this um, in, in a moment and there's a reason for this but uh, master's paintbrushes so how do they hold up well the first thing that you'll notice about them is they are wooden brushes okay now sometimes that can be a blessing and a curse with wood it can be nice and light it can be easy to use it's not you know it, for, for me that's perfectly I don't know I, I don't know if I can do this because I've, I've got you know tremors but it's perfectly balanced as you can see right there it flows really well, it's nice and light, and it feels really good. So how does it actually work when you're painting? Well, let's tap into a little bit of water, shall we? A little bit of white, a little bit of yellow, and let's go up here and do a few little strokes up here, just to create a little bit more hay. Let's see how that looks. That's not looking too bad. You get, you, so you get some really good coverage with it. What I really like about Master's brushes is the way that they're actually cut. Um, isn't it, it, it doesn't leave any bulky parts on the brush. Um, sometimes when brushes are cut, they can actually end up with uh, almost like two heads. They end up with a big bobbly bit at the top, and then there's less at the bottom. Um, sometimes that can be a blessing. Sometimes that can be a curse. With master's brushes, as you can see here, it's all you know one really nice fine point, which I absolutely love about master's brushes. They're really nice to see, they're really easy to use, your arm doesn't get tired from using them, um, and they are just they work really, really nicely. Um, so that's that's for a smaller brush. Now for the bigger brushes, you might think, well that's fine, but what about if I've only got you know bigger brushes to actually do the detail with? Well, let me tell you, the way that they're actually cut and shaped, you can do fine detail with a big brush. 
Let's come in here, a little bit of the same colour. And again, I'm working on this area. This is actually a commissioned piece for um, a client uh, in, based in the UK, I believe. I can't remember where. Um, I think it's actually not too far from me, if I remember correctly. Anyway, but as you can see here, you, know, you can really get some great detail, some really lovely fine detail from such a big brush. And again, it's because of how the brush is actually cut. Um, it makes so much of a difference when you can actually paint a lot of, of or cover a lot of, uh, of, of the canvas really, really quickly. But again, you know, if, again, if you're limited by brushes, you've got a really, really great brush that's there that you can actually work with. Now, one of the things that I did want to show you, because I had someone asking me this the other day, uh, when we were doing how to paint dogs, um, is how to bring eyes to life. And I'm just going to touch on this a little bit. This is why the Baltimore brush here is really, really good. I don't have my master's brush to hand, but it's basically the same brush. Um, the fine detail that comes on this, and then we just come in with a little point here and just touch. And this is great for someone like me who has maybe a little bit of the shakes, um, just from dyspraxia and, and from a few other uh, health issues. But as you can see here, you know, some really, really great detail, some really fine detail there. The majority of that painting I used um, the master's brushes for. We're going to, I just want to show you really quickly as well, because there are a few areas on here that we can touch up. Um, so come in with a little bit of black, a little bit of white, a little bit of red. And you can start to see the coverage. Now look here how well that actually covers. Normally with a brush, you end up with somewhat almost like patchy effects, but even as many times as I've used these brushes, they haven't um, actually become all patchy and they don't, they, they certainly don't spread um, the bristles um, in, a, in a negative way. They actually spread in a really positive way. I, re I mean, you can see here, there's no patchiness that's going on at all. It's not splitting. The bristles are still really, really soft and it just literally glides across the canvas, even when you're doing smaller um, areas. The one drawback that I will say is, it doesn't, now how can I put this? It doesn't hold the paint really, really well. Now, what do I mean by that? Obviously, you've got paint on the brush, and you want to have good coverage and everything like that, and that, that, that's a must for your artwork. But you'll find yourself reloading the brush quite a lot because, um, it, it, the, the paint literally sits just on the, the outer parts of the bristles. That's to stop the paintbrush from becoming clogged, which is technically, I suppose, what you really want. But certainly other brushes, um, I think, allow a little bit more in the way of, you know, just, just being able to hold the, the paint in. Um, so that's, that's really one of the only drawbacks. One of the other drawbacks when you're holding it, especially for a long period of time, is it can rub on your finger. Um, and that can obviously cause blisters and some sores. But again, that's that's if you've been holding it as I would for you know hours and hours and hours. Um, but on the whole, it is a really awesome brush. I can't recommend Masters highly enough. I'm literally just nitpicking here, um, and I'm struggling to actually find things to nitpick about. If you've seen some of the other re reviews when I've been talking about brushes, we look at three things. So you look at the handle for a start. You look at the metal part and you look at the actual brush itself. The handle is usually a wooden handle, but it's a soft wood. I've got to be honest, it doesn't cause so many blisters, um, as I say. And, and it really, as I say, is just, it's, it's a nice light brush. The metal part of it doesn't, it, it's well sealed. It doesn't take in water, which again can cause a brush to rust and rot. And it just, it doesn't, it doesn't do particularly well for the brush. Um, but again, it's really well sealed and the actual bristles itself. I mean, this has probably been used, I don't know, a couple of hundred times, maybe 500 times, maybe a thousand times, I don't know, um, over the last couple of years. And it's still almost in its original shape and it still works as well now as it did uh, pretty much when I very first got it. Um, the, they are some of the best brushes I honestly have ever, ever encountered. Um, I love using my master's brushes, and I also love the fact that there are so many sizes available. Um, I mean, there really are. I mean, just just in the in the in the slim range, and I've just got a few here to to hand. 
Um, you've got your, your great big filbert brushes as well. You've got, you know, just, just you, you, from, from the thickest of brushes to the thinnest of brushes, you've got some amazing brushes here. And I thoroughly, thoroughly love them. Um, one final thing that I, I want to pick up on from a positive aspect um, in, in this review is that the fact that they are long handled paintbrushes. Whenever I've been teaching, I always teach standing up. Um, and it's really, really important for me to be able to, not only to stand up, but to, to move around, but for students to see what I'm doing as well. And I love the fact that, you know, these are long handle brushes. I mean, even right here, you can see what I'm doing. My hand's not covering the camera. My hand's not covering the, the, you know, it's not too close to the canvas or anything like that. These are really, really great brushes and I thoroughly love them. You can see here again, just the coverage that you get. There's no loose hairs. I don't think I've ever, ever had a loose hair that has come out onto, uh, onto the canvas. Uh, and that's, as I say, in about three years of using them. Um, they dry really well. As I said, the only knockbacks that I would have, it's a wooden handle brush. Um, that's really it. I mean, and that's really, really mean nitpicking. Um, but yeah. So I don't know if you guys have ever used Masters brushes. What did you think? You know, if, if you have used Masters brushes, do you like them? Um, these are great as well for calligraphy brushes as well. You know, you get some really awesome effects that are there. Great for background brushes and so much more. They're just, a, just oh my gosh, they're just a pleasure to use. I thoroughly, thoroughly love them. And I cannot recommend them enough. I can't really, honestly, in, in all consciousness, say very much bad uh, about master's brushes. Because you can see here, I'm able to get in. And this is with a large brush. I'm able to get in here. And maybe it's, you know, the control of the artist. I don't know. But, you know, into some really tight spaces. And we get some really fine detail in there. Um, it literally feels like it is connected to me. And as I say, I thoroughly love it. The only thing that I would like is for them to make the, you know, maybe a soft grip version of it or, or anything like that. But as I said, that is me really, 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 really nitpicking um, on these brushes because I've got to be honest, they are, they're awesome. The, you know, these brushes really, really are awesome. And I would encourage you, if you haven't already, um, we will put up an affiliate link. I'll try and get that done for you today. Um, I would definitely encourage you to, uh, to check them out and uh, you know, have some fun with that. The background that I originally did for this painting was with a Harris brush, um, which is a much thicker brush. I know we covered that um, in last week's um, product review. I, I had to think there what I was doing. Um, and this is a Harris brush. It's a much thicker brush. It's a really good brush, but it is a much thicker brush. It gathers dust and paint when you leave it for a while. Um, but yeah, I mean, they're, they're a really solid, brush and they're just a pleasure to paint with. I thoroughly love them. Um, so, you know, if, if I was giving these a, uh, a product review and I, and I had to do an out of 10, I would definitely give these a 10. I, I can't actually fault them. Um, you know, as I said, the, the only thing, the only, only thing would be um, that, you know, I ideally would like a, maybe a soft grip brush. Maybe there's a version out there um, that used it. So I'm, I'm always thankful to, to Katie's aunt for, uh, for, for sending these to me um, as well. I thoroughly love them. And uh, yeah, they are, they are just great brushes. And also it gives me an opportunity to share with you uh, one of my latest commissions in dog painting, so that's always good fun. Well folks, what did you think? Did you enjoy this product review? Uh, was it helpful to you? Was it informative to you? Yeah, have you got any questions? Is there anything that you'd like to ask? And if you do, and you're watching the live show, please do feel free to comment um, and ask your questions now. If you're watching this on the replay, please do feel free to fire comments in the, in the chat section below. Um, and, you know, want to thank you always uh, for watching. Facebook, I want you to stay on because we've got some great news coming up for you uh, momentarily. But YouTube fans and those that are watching this, we want to thank you for watching. As always, this has been Art Tips with John, the show that teaches you not only how to build a successful art business, but also how to unleash your creative talent. I have been your host, John Morris, the painter of memories. And this is a beautiful example of the memories that we can create. Pets, portraits, landscapes, seascapes, mountainscapes, and so much more. Um, all uh, outreach art and so much more. Um, 
Folks, again, we've been sponsored by our wonderful, wonderful friends at Outreach Art. They're the best at what they do in online courses, teaching students that have never ever painted before, never ever done art before, going from start to finish, teaching you how to paint at some amazing courses and the best of what they do because they understand their students and how to build confidence, how to get the best out of them and how to help them see their creative potential. Until next time, take care, God bless, and I will see you soon. Take care.